What's up art fans? My name is Jesse and today we are in Phoenix, Arizona at a backyard casita as you can see right behind me. It's got four different walls that we're going to paint and uh, yeah, it's going to be really beautiful. So this is my client's dream home. Uh, she has spent a long time putting it together just the way she wants it and uh, part of that is a mural for me which I'm super honored by and actually there's a really fun story about how her and I connected. Uh, basically, I got a random text message with a photo of my first mural saying that uh, this photo had been taken uh, 10 years ago and that uh, she had been waiting to have me do something for her and that the time was now. So really one of those amazing ways that I got to connect with a client and I'm so grateful to finally be here to bring this piece to life. So uh, one of the main components is that she actually has a tortoise sanctuary as part of her yard. So we're going to do a giant tortoise along with a lot of big bright bold colors, some beautiful cactus, a couple secret little things hidden in there and we're going to make this piece just sing. So I can't wait to get started and uh, yeah let's make this thing happen. So uh, we got everything taped off. We got the sketch down. It's looking really good and the walls all of them look like they are ready to take the paint and uh, this is the fun part. We get to start doing color. So let's make it happen. Okay, valid effort today, got a lot done, still have a lot to do, but the mosquitoes are eating me alive, so I'm gonna call it a day and uh, we'll be back first thing in the morning.
get this guy in. A lot, long day on a ladder. He's definitely feeling it, but uh, I'm feeling good. It's looking really good. I'm enjoying the blending and uh, I'm having a lot of fun getting to do this piece. And it's kind of crazy, basically just painting a miniature house. But, um, you know, one of the things that I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit more, I mentioned it during the opening, but I got this really amazing text message from this client, which is how I got this job. And essentially, they had taken a photo of the first mural that I ever painted. They had held on to it, knowing that they were going to be building their, their dream home and that they were interested in some artwork and that I was the artist that they wanted to have paint, you know, and what I was doing back then doesn't even come close to what I'm doing now, but, um, you know, the fact that they had saved this message for 10 years and then got my phone number, messaged me, let me know what was going on and that it was time to do something was probably the most heartfelt connection with a client that I've ever had. And the only reason I'm talking about this is because uh, you never know what piece you did is going to connect you with your next client, whether it's 10 years ago or whether it's the last piece that you did. So just take that into account and remember that you're going to get in contact with your clients in a variety of different ways and make it as easy for clients to get a hold of you as possible. But uh, yeah, this was just one of those amazing stories that really touched my soul and I'm so happy to be doing this piece. It's a lot of fun and we still have a long way to go. So uh, yeah, what are we doing sitting around? Let's get to work. Okay, so uh, we are finally at the outline phase. All the colors laid in and we're ready to put that uh, big black bold outline on there, bring everything to life. I'm really excited to be at this phase of the mural. And for that, I'm gonna be using Nova Color mural paint. So we're gonna be doing all of that in brush work, doing all the detail work and uh, just making this look a little bit better. So I'm really excited and let's make it happen.
All right, so we got all the color done, we've got the outline done, we've got the accents completed, uh, the piece is signed, it's done, but it's not quite done. We need to first protect it, right? Uh, so we're going with the Rain Guard Water Sealer, which is gonna protect it from water, weather, uh, UV light, and uh, just overall wear and tear, get some extra years of longevity out of this piece. We took a long time to make it, so we wanna make sure that uh, we protect it and keep it vibrant for as long as possible. So. Uh, we've got a couple gallons of the rain guard. We're going to apply that with a, a multi-purpose multi -purpose sprayer. So this is a one-gallon multi-purpose sprayer that you can get at Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Ace Hardware. And uh, this one was, I think, $12. So relatively cheap uh, and effective. And uh, we're going to do two coats. So uh, let's Duh. get started. Okay guys, so that's it. We are all done with this project. It turned out better than uh, I thought it was going to. It's big, bright, bold, beautiful, everything. Uh, the client absolutely loves it. Uh, all the neighbors that have come over have expressed how much they enjoy it and what a nice addition of color it is. Uh, and I can't wait to see what it looks like with all the landscaping in the yard. It's really going to be great. Not to mention the uh, two turtles that are going to be staying in the habitat right next door uh, are arriving once winter breaks. So I'll be excited to meet them. But uh, overall, this was a super fun project. Uh, and thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions about painting a tiny house, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can always follow me on Instagram at MrDowntownPHX for more cool content always on the way. And uh, if you'd like, you can check out the new website of mine that just went live earlier this month at shinethroughart.com. So that'll keep you updated on what I'm going, um, you know, what I'm doing. It will uh, show you the artwork that I've got available for purchase and you can scope out some of the brand new merch that just dropped as well. So uh, yeah, we've got a lot of cool things going on there. So go scope that out. And uh, please hit that like and subscribe button because I am trying to grow the channel. But uh, yeah, if you've made it this far, thanks again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as always, I'll catch you at the next project. That was pretty good. Perfect. I think that was pretty good. You don't need to do I don't think I, I'm not even going to worry about it. That take was choice. <laughs>